Good morning and welcome to Choice English Grammar Lessons. Today I'm going to talk about sentence. Let's examine the structure of an English sentence. So what is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that convey an idea about something, say about an animal, a place or anything. So do you think any group of words with a full stop at the end of it can make a sentence? No, it cannot because those words have to be arranged in proper order so that it becomes a grammatically correct sentence. So let's see with an example. Birds in the sky fly. Birds in the sky fly. You think this is a perfect sentence? No, it's not. These words have to be rearranged and put in a grammatically correct order so that it can become a correct sentence. So let's try to do that. So we are, as I told you, a sentence tells you something about a thing. Here we are going to talk about birds. So birds will be our subject. And what do I want to tell you? tell about the birds. I am going to tell you that birds fly. They don't run, they don't walk but they fly. So here birds is a noun and fly it's a doing word which we call as verb and together birds fly makes a grammatically correct sentence. But this is the shortest English sentence. A sentence which has simply one noun and one verb. Similarly they eat, children play, we talk, they sing. These are all short English sentence which has only a noun and a verb. Now let's see how we can make it bigger or longer and add more information about birds. So what do I want to tell you about the birds? What birds? I want to tell you that they are red birds. The red birds. And where are they flying? Red birds fly in the sky. And what about their flying? How do they fly? Fast or slow? They fly fast. And with what do they fly? With their wings. So here we have a long sentence, the red birds fly fast in the sky with their wings. So I have given you a lot of information about the birds that they are red, they fly fast, they fly in the sky and with their wings. Now let's examine the structure of this long English sentence. What are they made up of? Birds. As I told you this is our subject and the word birds is a noun. And fly is a doing word, what we call as verb. And the word red gives you an additional information about birds, which means the word red qualifies or describes the noun. Hence, they are called adjectives. And the word fast tells you something about fly which means they either qualify or describe fly so hence they are called adverb and there the word there is a proper pronoun that is we use pronoun when we don't want to repeat the nouns see the birds fly in the sky with the birds wings. It sounds very, you know, like clumsy. So instead of repeating the words, we use there. It's a pronoun. And in and with these two are words that show the relation, relationship of the different words. So they are called prepositions. This the is an article. 
So here we have the different parts of a sentence, the noun, the verb, the adjective, the adverb, article, pronoun and prepositions. Together they make a perfect grammatic sentence. This grammatic parlance, they are called parts of speech. Parts of speech means different parts of a sentence. So hope that is very clear to you, the different parts of speech, noun, the verb, adverb, adjective, article, pronoun and preposition. Every English sentence will be using one or more of these different parts.